What's up guys, it's Ben, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing off CyanogenMon 10. This is the pre-pre-pre-alpha uh, from Skater with Skill on the XDA forums. came out today, uh, July 15th, and uh, we're just going to install it on here and see what's going on. Um, so, if this is your first time installing a different ROM besides the one you got, you're going to want to back up your ROM. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Um, right now I'm running CyanogenMod Mod 9, um, the official beta 1, um, that came out on the release channels today on uh, git.cm. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hold down the side, or hold down the power button, reboot, and then into recovery. Alright, so now that we're in clockwork, um, we're going to go ahead and back up while we were um, cutting between the scenes. I went ahead and put in my external SD card, just an 8 gig micro SD. So I'm going to back up to that because at the moment um, I can't really find out how to back up to the internal SD card. Um, but that's why I have another one. So I'm going to go back up restore, back up, and now it's just going to back up my entire system to the external SD card. So if anything goes wrong or no, I don't end up liking a CyanogenMod Mod 10 because it does have bugs, and I'll get to that when we're installing it. Um, I can just go back to what I had before and just get the ball rolling with the old one. Alright, so here we are a few minutes later. It's backed up to the external SD card and we're just going to do uh, one reboot um, back into it to make sure everything uh, is cleared and it's all backed up and stuff. So we're going to reboot it, but we're just going to hold down the two volume buttons so we get directly into recovery booting up so that way we don't have to go through CyanogenMod to do it. And there we are. So inside of Clockwork Mod, now the instructions follow on the uh, forum post. Um, it's built directly from CM10 repo. It's going to be up to his commits get pushed from the repo. Um, now what we need to do first is format um, format data and then factory reset. So. I'm going to go ahead and mount the storage, format data, whoops, we're just going to go ahead and format that, and now we're going to factory reset, so we're going to go back to main menu, and then from here, uh, factory reset. Okay, uh, now we got to we got to format the system. So format system. Oops. There we go. Um, format the Dalvik cache. So to go to that, it's under advanced, and then white Dalvik cache. Um, and then format regular cache. And then the last thing we do is install the ROM. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install zip from SD card. Mine's on the internal SD card, so you choose zip from internal SD card. If you download to the internal SD card, if it's on your external SD card, just choose zip from SD card. I'm going to go in here, it's my downloads folder. And up here, CM10 2012 715 unofficial Skyrocket. So I'm going to hit that, select yes, and now we're just going to go ahead and install that. Okay, so the install is finished, and now we're going to go ahead and reboot into CM10. Alright, here we are, and Jelly Bean um, for Science Mod 10. So, um, show us the launcher. We can see the new Google search widget up here. Uh, we're going to have the new pull down for Jelly Bean, Science and Mod Statistics. I'm going to go ahead and opt in for that. Get out of there. Alright, so it says right now working is data, Bluetooth, uh, the Jelly Bean, Google Apps, ADB, messaging, and Wi Fi. And <laughs> nothing else is working. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Jelly Bean change log so I can show you what's different. Okay, so in Jelly Bean, we're just going to go ahead and start from the lock screen and go from there and show you what's different in Jelly Bean. Um, so starting up, 
you can see it's got this little new circular animation coming from it. It's just these little dots that go around and touch it and just brings right out. Um, we also have the new notifications, but that's nothing um, too improved. But there's a few things that I will show you just not here. Um, so you can see we can swipe over the camera, but camera doesn't work, so it's just going to crash. And then we can just unlock the phone. You can already tell it's a lot more smoother with all the animations and stuff. It just pops um, in all the ways that you can do it. Um, besides that, you can see just popping around the operating system seems quicker, um, to me at least. And you can also see in the widgets, now you can see um, a little bit of um, what the widget is in the background if it doesn't fill the entire square, like you can see there. And it updates relatively quickly. If you go too fast, it won't update everything. Um, but you get the general gist of it. Um, you can see multitasking hasn't changed really. Still swipe things off. Um, notifications is the biggest thing. I'm going to go ahead and send a notification to the phone so I can show you what it's like. Alright, to uh, get notifications working, I had to go ahead and install the Google's apps, the Google Apps package. Um, and I had to look around the internet to find a working one that would work with this ROM because um, installed, it didn't come with it. Um, so I went ahead and did that, and now I can show you notifications. So I'm just going to go over here and send an email to myself and it should pop up on the phone. You can see 11 new messages and we can just bring it down here you can see here's the notification. Now this is an expanded view you can see we can go like this and pinch in and we can make it come back together so it's just in one slot like it was before but now we have expanded notifications so we can just bring it down two fingers and we can see more of what's going on. So you can see it just has this little kind of accordion effect and we can see uh, more information on this notification and then we can just pop it right off like that to clear everything off the screen. Another example of notifications would be text message. Um, so if you get a whole bunch of text messages you can just see them all at once in the notifications. So we're going to send one now. And you can see it just pop down here. It says hello. And it's only one text message, so it only takes up that one spot. But say we send more. You can see we're getting a whole bunch of text messages right now. And they're all popping in and you normally might not be able to see them all so we can pop it down and you can see all of them right there and then we can just pinch it in so we only see four new messages i would demonstrate how uh, phone calls work if you get a phone call and you have it you can just tap on it and reply to them with a text message or call them back or whatever from the notification tray uh, but calls don't work on this build of cyanogermod 10 since it's a pre 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 alpha um, but I would show you that if I could. Um, now also, since I have Google Apps installed, I can also show you Google Now. So if we're from the lock screen here, we just swipe up from this little uh, dot pattern. And we go straight into Google Now. So you can see here, there's cards, and then you can ask it um, to do things for you. The microphone doesn't work, which is also why the phone <laughs> wouldn't work. Um, but you can ask it things, and it will pull up cards. Um, so in a way, it's kind of like Eevee, if you know what that app is. It's a bit like a Siri competitor for Android, and it's a free app. Um, so if we just pop in here, we can ask it uh, what we want it to show. So we can say, how tall is Kevin Hart? You can see it'll pop up with a card, and it shows his face. He's 5'5", five five and we can ask more things about it, too. So we can say... Um, movies, for example, and it should show movies that are out right now. And if it doesn't, and if it can't find uh, what you want it to do, it'll bring up a uh, Google search page. So we can say use precise location, and it'll show us all that. So working in this build, we have uh, data, Bluetooth, 
um, ADB messaging and MiFi. I'm pretty sure I said this before. Um, but calls don't work, um, like I was saying. So if we pop in here, for example, 1-800-800-8000. Just a quick test call. You can see there's no sound. That's also another thing that doesn't work in this build. There's no sound. Also with Jelly Bean, uh, the settings are a little bit revamped. If we go over here, you can see um, the toggles are now more square, kind of like the original iOS, um, instead of that little cornered off um, look and view. Um, if we come down here, you can see counts now have their own little section. And there's also a little easter egg in Jelly Bean. So if we tap on the version number a whole bunch of times you can see the little happy Jelly Bean. Hold down on them and there's a whole bunch of floating Jelly Beans. And you can actually grab them and flick them off. You can use one, more than one finger too. So you can just mess around with all of them. Just flick them off the screen. And uh, yeah, that's just a little hidden easter egg of it. Up here you can also see the new search widget. So it's a little bit uh, translucent. Another thing you can also do now is if you long press the power off option and the power down menu right here, if we long press that, we can boot into safe mode, which disables everything except for Google Apps as far as I know. Also with the uh, new notifications, in each individual app we can disable notifications for it. So say you have an app that has um, ads that come into it through the notifications. Um, you can go ahead and disable that app from showing you notifications so you don't have to deal with those annoying ads. Voice typing is also um, built into the phone now so if you don't have an online connection you can still talk and it will still type out what you said. Widgets are also uh, much better now so you can just move things around everything moves according to your widget. So say we move a few things to the desktop move downloads over there, DSP, whatever it is, we pop in the widgets here, and we're going to get a pretty small one, uh, we can bring in the clock, you can see things just move according to where I'm going to put this clock, so that makes it much easier to do things like that, you can see it just everything moved according to where I placed that clock. You can also now quickly remove apps or widgets um, from the home screen by just quickly flicking them. So you can see we have this just flick it up and it goes right off. You can have this just flick them. Doesn't work every time but you can see it works like that and you don't always have to just drag it up to the top. Um, also Project Butter is on here and it doesn't completely work because I don't think GPU acceleration is 100% right now. Um, but it does seem faster with a lot of things and I'll be able to show you what I mean um, with it. So you can see just popping in here, it's smooth, it was smooth and ice cream sandwich as well. Um, but say we pop into an app like Google, it's Google now, we pop back home and it just sucks into the middle instead of doing whatever else it did. Um, but it seems much more fluid popping between uh, pages. Also I noticed, I don't know if it's just with this ROM, but the power off animation is no longer CRT, it just pops on and pops off. Um, but yeah, um, camera doesn't work so I can't show that off, um, but it is revamped and also um, face unlock um, is now enabled so it checks if you're alive or not, so you have to blink. Also this is behind the scenes, but um, the keyboard in Jelly Bean stock keyboard uh, adapts to what you do over time, can even predict the next word, a lot like uh, SwiftKey X. Another example of uh, Project Butter and the way it transitions just move throughout things is uh, here is one example that I can show you. Um, if we go into downloads here, you can see I downloaded a few things. Um, and this is the Play Store. This Play Store didn't work, obviously, so I had to get this. Um, but if we tap on this, it's not going to let's install. You can see the animation just did there to pop into this. And then we're going to have to go into settings. And if you can see, it just swipes it off the top of the screen. And we're brought into this. Um, so there's just one example that I found out. I disabled um, unknown sources for this. Um, so I could show you what Project Butter is like. Um, and going back, it does that too. Um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot I can show you about Project Butter. It just seems a lot smoother. Animation seems simpler in a way. Um, but uh, still, nonetheless, very polished and um, well thought out and executed.
So basically, um, that is Jelly Bean, Cyan so Gen Mod 10 for the Skyrocket. This is pretty, pretty, pretty alpha. And um, yeah, I'll be sure to update you guys on more things um, as they come along. Um, but just starting out, this is the first working build of CM10 on the Skyrocket. So thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll have many more videos like this, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those.